and build myself a proper I don't know, I'm not building a castle because I'm terrible at castles, but I might build a tower. I make a pretty good circle out of blocks, which, um, if anyone's wondering, is kind of possible, actually. Uh, easiest way to do it, just go to Google and type in Minecraft circles and go to the images, and there will be this whole layout showing you how to make, like, I don't know, 13 or 14 different types of circles of different sizes in Minecraft. It's pretty fantastic. So... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making a chest. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, and mushrooms. Right. I was going to make soup. Yeah. Yeah. The soup. Uh, mushroom stew is dumb. <laughs> it, it sucks because it's one of the few foods that doesn't stack whatsoever. However, when you eat it, nom 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 nom, they nerfed it. It used to fill up like six things of uh, of your hunger meter, which was great. Although that no longer seems to be the case, which means that I just wasted my infinite supply of wood on something that's rather dumb. However, now I have full hunger, so as you guys can see, my health bar is actually going to fill up, which is good. Because by the looks of things, I'm doing terribly, and thus need <laughs> need to hurry up and get me some cobblestone and some sort of protection from the beasties out in the wilds because they will destroy me. Um, I kind of apologize for how boring this is going to be. Unfortunately, the first couple episodes of just about any Minecraft series are possibly the worst thing on the planet because all it is is me gathering resources and attempting to fill the silence, which I'm not incredibly good at just yet since this is actually my first series going up ever I am not skilled in the ways of communication with you guys uh, if anyone ever starts a YouTube channel <clears throat> I think you'll find that it is incredibly odd talking to yourself with no one there and yet you have to talk as though you're talking to people because you are talking to people I'm talking to however many people watch this I don't know uh, according to my YouTube channel, tons of people loved my uh, volts tutorial, which was fantastic. I did not expect to get that many views for months, months from now. But uh, I checked it earlier today, and it said I had like 735 views on that thing, which is ridiculous. It's incredibly ridiculous. Um, last time I checked, I think I had 12 subscribers, and I've got <clears throat> over 700 views. That's great that's great you guys are all just awesome if any of you guys watch this that's that's fantastic and what's really cool <clears throat> is I have yet to be trolled by these people that's the best part for any of you who don't know what a troll is that is a beastie that lives in the internet whose goal in life is to simply attempt to make other people hate themselves it seems which is okay I, I guess if you're a troll, that's that's fine. Trolling can be fun at times uh, if it's done in a, a playful manner. But there are people who take it like way too seriously. Uh, there are a lot of really popular YouTubers who get like death threats to them and stuff. Um, Total Biscuit being one for sure that uh, definitely gets a lot of really just vilely rude comments to him all the time. Of course, he's a huge channel, so I think people are jealous of him, to be honest. Which I guess is understandable. I don't know. Like, there are advantages to being a huge channel. Obviously, he gets to do this as a job, which is fantastic. If I ever got to the point where I could do this as a job, you guys may make me cry. Because that's just awesome. That would quite possibly be the best thing that could ever happen to anyone. That's the best job ever. I mean, come on, you play games for a job. If anyone out there thinks I'm crazy for loving that, then I think you're watching the wrong person because that is fantastic. And that's the, the type of nerd that I am. All I ever want to do is play games and entertain people. Like, I love entertaining people. Which is actually why I work where I work. Uh, for those of you who don't know, actually, come to think of it, none of you know because I haven't talked about it yet. I work in a tourist attraction. Um, it sucks. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's terrible. 
Uh, not so much working for tourism. I think that's great. But uh, the company I work for in particular is um, not the greatest with our uh, customer service, I guess you could say. Uh, we're actually pretty pretty terrible at it, which is funny since they sent us through this whole like eight-hour customer service training last year, which went really well for about a week. And then it was really evident that no one in the company actually cared to enforce any of our customer service training. And so it all just went downhill from there. But yeah, no, I stand around talking to people from all over the world all day long. That That's all I do. I get paid to, to sit around and talk to people from like Germany and Romania. Uh, I talk to tons of people from India, which is cool. I mean, I've met people from everywhere. Just the other day, I talked to this group who actually lived in Denmark. Sorry if you could hear that. That's my wife in the background in the kitchen. We have a tiny apartment. And so audio quality is, is just not going to happen right now. So background noise is going to be constant in here. I'm very sorry about that, guys, but there's nothing I can do. We live right by the highway, and we've got, like, really thin walls. Um, <laughs> you're just going to hear background noises. I'm going to do my best to cut them out. That's why I keep working on my audio quality and trying to make sure that I'm the only thing you can hear. However, because I'm still slightly nervous talking to people, there's also an issue with that because, as you may have noticed in some of my other videos, you keep hearing this weird kind of gurgly noise in the background. That's actually me swallowing. Uh, I guess that's one of my nervous habits when I talk to people is I swallow a lot. And I also get a dry throat, which is an issue. However, I don't want to make this chugging water noise in front of all of you guys because that's not very appealing either. And so I'm still working on figuring out how to fix background noise and, and stuff that's not my, my voice projecting towards the mic. Um, it's a headset, which is one of the issues, but it does have a windsock thing over it, which is supposed to help with the background noise. Yeah, not so much. I mean, my puppy can just walk through the living room and you hear it in the background really well. Now, what's nice is if you have terrible speaker setup like I do, you can't hear that. But a lot of people are starting to get really nice headphones and, and headsets and they're wearing that and stuff. And the only reason I can't hear it on my speakers is because they're old. Like A lot of my setup is quite old except for my keyboard, but that's cheap, and that's because I drink coffee. <clears throat> Just so you guys know, if you uh, really like to sit at your computer and drink coffee, it's not necessarily a good idea to have the cup sitting on the same table as, as your stuff. I had this huge cup. I mean, huge. You go to a restaurant and, and you order coffee. Uh, some of you guys might know this. They give you like these tiny white cups, the cup I had was probably like four of those in one. I dumped probably the entire thing on top of my keyboard. It was kind of funny. Um, however, horrible. That keyboard could not have been more dead. It's just not possible. But the good part is I now got this keyboard, which um, might surprise you guys is actually quieter than my last keyboard, believe it or not. Um, I'm sure you guys can hear me typing and moving like really bad because this is a keyboard that's pretty loud as well. And like I was just talking about, my mic picks up on the background noise like, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, like no other. So I know you guys hear me typing. I can hear it in the background of my own videos too. And uh, if anyone knows how to fix that, please tell me because I'd really like to know. I've done research on the interwebs and the interwebs have told me nothing. They've pretty much said, you're out of luck, man. But yeah, no, here, pretty shortly, um, I'm going to be getting my tax rebate. And I'm hoping to do something with that. I don't know what yet. Um, whether it be, like, get an HD PVR so that I can record my Xbox, which would be great because I have a lot of cool games on that, which I opted not to buy on the computer because my wife is more of a console gamer. Whereas I, my stepdad used to own a computer repair company, so I had like this great PC like six or seven years ago, which is my old PC, and it was so good that it lasted me up until now, which is pretty good for computers. For anyone who doesn't know, they go obsolete pretty quickly. 
and they're really expensive. So I had a great computer. I had no reason to play anything else. Like, I just bought my first Xbox last year, I think. Like, like last Christmas. No, not not last Christmas. Christmas before last. Uh, and so I, I bought the 360. Uh, prior to that, I had the PlayStation 2. And prior to that, I had the Nintendo 64. And before that, I played the Super Nintendo. And that was pretty much it. I bought the Wii uh, when it came out a while ago. But um, I didn't play it all that much. I kind of just used it for exercise. Which is great, because I love video game exercising. It's fantastic. I'm a somewhat competitive personality. And so having a score and challenges and achievements and stuff like that makes me work so much harder than if I was just working out by myself. The problem, though, is I also have a tendency to work too hard when I play those games. And um, I actually hurt myself playing on my Wii on several occasions, uh, <laughs> which is really funny. People would be like, oh, what did you do this weekend that hurt yourself so bad? And I'm like, I was playing Wii Boxing. How did you hurt yourself playing a video game? Uh, I was swinging really hard and, and uh, you know, I, I kind of over rotated my shoulder or something like that. I, I probably hurt myself playing Wii Boxing. Like... A dozen times before I finally learned my lesson um, pro tip right there by the way for anyone who didn't know if you have a gravel setup like this and you want to just kill it all what you can do is you can actually take a torch place it right there break this block and when the gravel falls it hits that torch and destroys it uh, that's also a great way to get the uh, spoiler so if you haven't beaten Minecraft yet maybe turn down your volume for like 15 seconds or something like that yeah, so my spoiler is that if you want to pick up the dragon egg at the end, I believe you can actually have it fall down onto the torch, and that will uh, go ahead and drop it down into your inventory, then you can place it anywhere. I don't think the dragon egg does anything yet, but still. Alright, so now let's wait a little bit for anyone who may have actually turned down their volume for the spoiler. I don't think that's anyone. Um, okay, we should be good. <laughs> so yeah. For uh, those of you who didn't turn off your volume, which is probably everyone, I'm sorry for that pause. It's just me being kind of dorky. Like I said, not great at filling in the silences, but I feel like I'm doing a lot better than my first test run on this. Um, prior to doing any of my mod reviews or any of my tutorial videos that I just put out, which, by the way, I just put out a Diablo 2 full screen tutorial, which is uh, a little properties command thing that they put into the game which allows you to sort of make Diablo 2 into a 16 by 9 uh, ratio which is widescreen for those of you who don't know uh, without any mods which is great so if you guys haven't seen that and you're interested in playing Diablo 2 on a modern screen but you don't really want all those black bars you might check that out it's actually really easy to do which is why I posted it up there and yet when I first downloaded my uh, Diablo 2 CDs onto this computer uh, not only did I realize that Diablo 2 is a really old game and so this computer has some issues running it and I had to patch it but I found out that uh, Diablo 2 is so old there is no widescreen setting for it like its max resolution is 800 by 600 that's horrible <laughs> it's, it's absolutely horrible I don't know why why that is and yet I tried to find like a high definition mod for it because I was thinking about doing a series on Diablo 2. And um, the few that I did find were either outdated, which was weird because that last update was in sometime 2012. Hey, Lava, how you doing? 